Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope everybody had a great winter. This year I'm starting a new series called a 3, 4, and 5 series where I vlog my favorite part 3, part 4, and part 5 and travel down to sunny Florida to El Capion Mission and Resort with a couple of my great friends, one of my best friends right here, Colton Rowe. A plan partner for a couple years now and a great friend of mine and we stayed with our mutual friend, great life mentor of mine, great friend Mark Goldberg. Thanks to him and Judy for hosting us and having a great time and he's going to tell us a little about the course. Yeah, this is a Mission Inn Resort and it's a resident community as well. One of the uh, oldest courses here in Florida. At one time it was ranked the uh, number one public course in all of Florida. It's a beautiful course. Two courses. We're playing the El Capion course and there's also the uh, Las Colinas course, which is a little easier, but just as beautiful. Uh, we're here in Howie in the Hills, Florida. Thanks a lot for that, Mark. All right, sunny Florida, Howie in the Hills. Great day. Couldn't be any better. Asia before beauty, of course, right here. Mark, we got a par three down the hill, 155. Mark took his seven iron, I believe, had a nice high fade. Wind definitely helped him out there, and uh, he's right in the green. I, uh, I took a little different approach, Tried, decided to draw it in over the water, not my usual approach, but um, definitely worked out for me, that was a shot I was playing most of the day actually, and uh, worked out, so I was really happy with that. The greens were uh, moving a bit slow, there was a lot of dew on the greens, because uh, we were playing early in the morning. Um, I had about a 40 foot downhill putt that I got within a foot there, so I was really happy with that. Uh, start off the vlog with a ball. We're here at the 18th hole, the finishing hole at El Capion at Mission Inn in Howie in the Hills. It's a beautiful finishing hole over a lot of water, dog leg right, very difficult hole, but if you play it smart, you, you can par out. All right, let's do it. Thanks again for that, Mark. Great par four here. Mark hit his usual high fade with his driver. Faded it right over the water nicely into the fairway and uh, it's looking pretty good so far. We have, a, uh, we have a shot from Colton here. Colton got a little under it, but he's lucky he hits bombs, so he got away over the water there, even though he got a little under it and he's safe, so. I took a kind of a lower, lower approach shot here and um, Definitely worked out for me. Hit a usual draw with my driver and uh, hit a bit low, so I was happy with that shot. Mark is an approach in. Ended up a little short, just below the bunker, but um, he'll get on the green from there. Colin hit a nice approach here. We're all within 10 feet of the pin. My approach used my 60 degree high toe from Taylor Made. Great club there. Mark took his approach from the rough and also got it all within 10 feet here. Just missed my birdie putt within an inch and um, so did Mark and I believe Colton will as well. <laughs> Greens were running really, f yeah, they were running fast, slow, really dependent on what This is uh, called El Diablo, playing. this hole. Uh, your second shot is a layup to a middle position of a tree is there and then you shoot it right over a pond to the green so it's a very difficult hole it's real challenging <laughs> thanks again mark great par five here really love this hole mark his usual high fade a little right but um he can recover from there it's open over there so I'm not really worried about. i decided to take a five iron here play it safe I did, usual draw. Got it right in the fairway, really happy with that shot. And uh, Colton decided to take driver here. Hit a massive bomb here. Holds about 518, Colton got it about, I'd say almost 300 out there, so. Mark chipped out here. And Colton could go for two here. But he decided to lay it up with an 8-iron, little stinger. Almost hit it too far. 
but uh, that was a safer play. He couldn't see the flag there, so it's a great shot. Mark hit his just below the tree. Very great approach in, and uh, he's right on the green there. Going as an uphill lie here, and take his 50 degree and try to just get right on there. And from that lie, that shot was amazing. Me and Colton have the same coach, Pete Shea, in upstate New York. Um, so our game's pretty matched. Pretty matched. I have about a 180 shot into the pin and uh, took a six iron here and a little approach in, and I was really, really happy with that shot. We'll have birdie putts, and uh, putting wasn't on our side today. Coming from New York, uh, the greens are vastly different down in Florida. Um, so, we were just getting used to them. And, uh, yeah, guys, so we had a great time down there, and uh, just wanted to give you guys a couple holes there, and that was my 345 vlog. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.